So how do you get in touch with or work with hospice agents to get those residents to come into your home? In the United States right now, there are 76 million baby boomers. The number one dilemma for these baby boomers, housing. That dilemma can be your opportunity. Welcome to the Assisted Living Network podcast, where you can discover how just one residential assisted living home could secure your financial future forever. Hey, it's Isabel from the Assisted Living Network. Just because you're in hospice doesn't mean you're going to die tomorrow. So what is hospice? Or as you may have heard it called, palliative care. Hospice is defined as care and comfort for someone who has a serious illness or is approaching the end of life. Once it's determined that you don't have a lot of years left, that's when you start looking for hospice care. Most seniors on hospice, over half of them are on the service for 30 days or less. But we've had seniors who have been on hospice for years. Hospice care is not for only those last six months or last six days of life. Therefore, as long as your condition remains serious, that hospice team can continue to work with you. Only God controls the date you're set to go home, not a doctor or anyone else. Can you be on hospice in a residential assisted living home is a question I often get. Like, where does hospice care even take place? Well, hospice, it's an actual approach to care. It's not a location. So hospice care can be provided in a hospital, in a nursing home, facility, or a residential assisted living home, as well as at your own home. You can be in many different places and receive this specific type of care. If you're in a residential assisted living home, they may come to you and help you one-on-one, and this would be on top of the regular caregivers who are already working in this care home. So when someone is at high need towards the end of life, this is a beautiful thing to be able to offer. This person or this team is available to you 24-7, and they visit regularly, if not daily. Who determines if you need hospice? Well, if you feel that you're getting towards the end of life, a family member, a doctor, or your own residential assisted living home that you may be living in, they might call to help get that set up for the senior. And if you're wondering who pays for hospice, this is a really beautiful thing. It's usually paid by Medicare or Medicaid, and it's covered by most commercial insurers. We were shocked to know that it's a free service for most people, and it's a really beautiful thing. What services can be provided in hospice? Well, hospice teams are made up of nurses, doctors, social workers, spiritual advisors, and trained volunteers. Everyone works together with the person who is passing on, the caregivers or the family, to provide medical, emotional, and spiritual support during this time. You can be on hospice for a long time, like we mentioned at the beginning of this episode. As long as your condition is still serious, you are valid and able to stay on hospice. Hospice can be a good lead source for an RAL care home owner because sometimes people live a lot longer than just the few days, weeks, or months that they've been assigned. This can help you fill your beds and they have extra hands on deck to help care for those seniors. So how do you get in touch with or work with hospice agents to get those residents to come into your home? Well, you can call local hospice agencies and start building a relationship with them. Get on their list of recommended homes and build that relationship. At the end of the day, residential assisted living always comes down to relationships. I know when my grandfather needed that additional care when he got put on hospice, my family was, you know, pleasantly surprised that this was a totally free service to us. He was getting lots of extra attention and care from these medical professionals, and it made us feel a lot more comfortable and confident knowing that he was going to pass on to that next life with a lot of love and support around him. If you're wondering where to learn more tips about getting started in the residential assisted living space and how you can build those relationships with hospice agencies to help fill your beds, make sure you check out RAL101.com. We are always sharing hot tips and takes on how to get started in this business and what you can do to set your home apart from all the other homes in the care home business.
Don't forget to like and share this episode and follow us wherever you listen to your favorite podcasts. Thanks for listening to the Assisted Living Network.